This is probably the biggest hill we could find in our area. It's only a new update, it's only just come in the last few weeks. So now they're using the radar on the front of it uh, as well to create a 3D map of what's in front of it so that not just looking what's underneath it, but what's in front of it to follow the actual terrain. We're gonna test it, we've got a hill in front of us, trees and stuff here as well. We'll see if it hits something, see how it works, and we'll just go for it, I think. The first test we'll do, we'll do it with the app, the new 3D following on. It still keeps obstacle detection on, so it's still gonna go around these trees and everything like that. Um, but we're just gonna test to see if it makes a huge difference. We don't know it does make a bit of a difference in a lot of the steep country. So let's go for a fly and see how we go. Righto, so she is off. So you can see we have got quite a steep hill in front of it there. It's going to, see it's already sensed that little tree there. Going up the hill now. See, this is the problem at the moment with the standard non-3D flight mode on. It's actually sensed the hill as an obstacle. So see how it's pulled up there early and turned around because it thought that whole hill there was an obstacle. You can see it's coming for the tree there. It's gone around the tree. Continuing on. It actually turns the sprays off when it goes around the tree too, so it doesn't double dose areas. See, we've got this new function here. This has only just come out. Real, ter real terror free 3D flight. So what it does is it, it, it does a 90 degree pitch up and down and senses what's in front of it. So we'll flick that on now and we'll go for a fly. So it's going towards this hill now. So you can see it's already going up before it's actually got to it. It sensed that that hill's in front of it. It's going up. Whereas before it was just looking at what was underneath it. Now it's actually looking at what is in front of it. Not so much just with the obstacle detection, but also in the, um, in the uh, terrain following. It's just an option as well. If you work in really steep country, you can flick this mode on now. And rather than it thinking that the, uh, the hill is an obstacle in front of it, it'll actually go up that hill and over it. Um, so a lot of drones now, uh, they have the obstacle detection on and it'll think that the hill is an obstacle rather than following the hill. So now they've brought out these new functions now where you can still have obstacle detection on and it'll still follow that hill, go up and down with the hill rather than it thinking that the obstacle, uh, the hill is the actual obstacle. So it works really good in hilly country at the moment.